Coffin, uh, saxophonist, composer, educator, author. Um, my main uh, touring gig is with Dave Matthews Band. I teach at uh, Vanderbilt University in Nashville, where I've lived since uh, 1991. This is a little bit more of an advanced technique. It's sort of like cross-training, uh, where you're doing something that's familiar in an unfamiliar way. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a couple of scales and do them um, in mixed meter. I'm going to do them in different groupings. I'll use a C major scale, I'll use a C harmonic minor scale, and then a C melodic minor scale. And I'm going to do them in groupings of fives so that you can hear the difference. So a C major scale is something that's, that's very normal, um, kind of mundane to work on. You're like, ah, I'm a little beyond working on scales. Well, scales are still important to work on, so do them in a way that's unfamiliar. So one of the ways you can do it is you can go up five, up five, up five, up five. So. So one becomes an up, one becomes a down. So suddenly you're in odd meter. So you can do the same thing going up five, go up to the next note and then down. So, so C to G, A down to D, E to A, uh, E to B rather, C to F, so on and so forth. So you do them slowly so you start to hear the fives. So when you start to speed them up, so that's all going up. This is what I call stair stepping. So you're up, up one, down, up, down, up, down. So you start to really feel that five. Now, when it gets cool, and, uh, um, and really interesting sonically and line-wise is when you start to get into some of the altered scales. Um, so, for example, doing harmonic minor, which is... Flat six, natural seven. So... which is a pretty cool sound. So you can do the same thing uh, with melodic minor also. And so it starts to kind of bend your mind around these different sounds and these, these different phrasings, these groupings of fives. So suddenly, again, you're, you're, you're playing in five, you're starting to feel these groupings. And as you do more of this also, it starts to come out in your playing. You want to do that over every key. Extend the horn up as, as high as you can go. But take it slowly so that you're really feeling those. So in, in, you, you can do this with anything. But the idea of taking it slowly is hugely, hugely, hugely important. Because we're not really looking for speed yet. Your technique will be a byproduct of working on these fundamental things. So take something familiar, work it in an unfamiliar way.